the best propaganda is not just a lie. It's an inversion of the truth. So you take the truth and you flip it on its head. And then you have truly powerful propaganda. And that's exactly what this idea that wisdom teeth impaction is a sign of evolution is. It's an inversion of the truth. Impacted wisdom teeth, our jaws not being able to accommodate our third molars, is not progress. It's not human ascension. It's the exact opposite. It's de-evolution. It's a curse. It's a curse that we've been given as a result of violating natural law. We broke the rules, and now we're suffering the consequences. What rules did we break? Having unhealthy pregnancies. Okay, we live in an unhealthy world full of toxicity. Our mothers are subjected to that as a result of being a human in the 21st century. That's the first thing that contributes to a child's underdevelopment that ultimately sets him on the path of needing his wisdom teeth out because his jaws can't accommodate them. Next, violation of nature, lack of breastfeeding. As absurd as this sounds, God gave humans nipples for a reason, and that's to feed our children with them. And when we breastfeed our children, the child's suckling action, it's not just about the chemistry of human breast milk, although that's important. It's also about the mechanical aspect of a child going up and forward with his tongue and then suckling milk out of the nipple. That action, the suckling action, is the ultimate form of mewing. And it pushes the child's maxilla up and forward. It's a natural, it turns the tongue into a natural palate expander. And when we don't do that, and when we go to the Enfamil out of a plastic bottle with a big long nipple that just drops milk into the baby's mouth instead of having the baby develop that synapse of pressing his tongue up and forward, that's a violation of nature. And not having jaw space is a result of that violation of nature. Next up, how about not chewing tough foods, soft, sugary, processed foods that come from factories in God knows where, made out of high fructose corn syrup in shitty grains. They melt in your mouth. You don't even need to chew them. You swallow them whole. That's a violation of nature. Humans are meant to eat whole tough foods like beef, like leafy greens, like nuts, like you name it. Things that come from the earth. Not processed foods that come from freaking, you know, factories in the Midwest. Living indoors with animals in modern airtight structures that have less than three air changes per hour as a result of modern building codes. And then to introduce dander and fur and kitty litter, fumes and off gases into that tight recirculating structure. That's a violation of nature. Humans are meant to be in the fresh air. We're meant to have constant fresh air. Not air that's stale and polluted with animal furs. That's a violation of nature that gives us allergies, causes us to become mouth breathers. And when we're mouth breathers, our tongue is not up on the roof of our mouth. It's on the floor, and it's not serving its role as a natural palate expander. And that leads to wisdom tooth impaction as well. And I can think of so many others. Some, some others potentially are uh, not talking enough. Talking is actually a palate expander. Speaking lengthens and strengthens and opens the airway. We don't talk enough anymore. We're so antisocial. We spend so much of our time on screens, reclusive. That's a violation of nature. Humans are social animals. We need to be speaking and communicating and sending and singing and vocalizing. And when we don't, that contributes to our jaws being small. If you can think of any other violations of nature 
that result in small human jaws? Drop it in the comment section below. I'll be curious to hear your thoughts. But, big picture, not having space for wisdom teeth is not progress. It's decline. It's a curse that we deal with as a result of violating natural law. That's it for now. Let me know your thoughts. Peace out.